Hello guys! Welcome to the chapter Tools to Optimize Your Pinterest. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using Canva to create pins. Let's get started. Creating pins is possible on the Pinterest platform. Just upload a 2x3 ratio image, customize the image by adding text and background color on the text as its overlay. The other way to create pins is to create a custom design using a tool that allows you to use templates. You may find free tools online where you can create Pinterest pins using their app. They already have templates that are designed to work on Pinterest. You just need to choose what you like and think would best suit your brand's pins. The best way is to customize your pin using the online app like Canva. Canva is easy to use as it allows you to add elements to your pin and easily create the image in just a few clicks. Now go to canva.com and you can sign up using Google, Facebook, or with an email address. Once you've successfully logged in to your Canva account, you can search for Pinterest on the search box. As you can see from the drop-down, you can use several Pinterest pin categories like a birthday pin, wedding pin, food pin, or video pin. All of these have the same pixels, 1000 by 1500 pixels, which is still a 2 by 3 ratio. You can choose from the ready-made pins or choose a blank pin. Once you've chosen one of these, you'll be redirected to the template editor. From these left menus, you can see the templates where you can choose from the available templates like video pin, food pin, wedding pin, birthday pin, or all of the pins. The uploads menu can be used to upload an image or video from your drive. The photos menu shows you the trending photos, but if you see this crown icon, it means that you must pay for this photo if you want to use it. The Elements menu allows you to add lines, shapes, frames, stickers, charts, grids, gradients, and more stickers here. The Text menu allows you to add a heading, subheading, or body text on your page with style. The Music menu gives you more non-copyright music if you want to add it on your videos. The Videos menu allows you to add free videos on different categories. The background menu has tons of different backgrounds that you can add with different textures. The folders menu is useful if you have images or elements that you have purchased and liked on Canva. The more menu gives you more options like other apps and, and integrations. Now let's start creating a design. Choose an image. Adjust the size that will fit the recommended Pinterest pin dimension. You can choose a template from the menu and browse from these templates if there's a template that you would like to apply on your pin. Let's try to add elements. Next, we need to add a text overlay to attract pinners and let them know what they will get out of this pin. First, add a shape for the text overlay's background. Resize it, and you can also change the color. Then add text. You can try adding a heading, then a subheading. Then edit the size so the text is big enough to be noticeable from the other pins. Add the final touches and finalize your pin. Now click this icon to download your pin. We have successfully downloaded the pin on our drive. Now let's upload the pin on our profile. Add a pin title and description. Then add the URL link, then save it on your relevant board. Now this is your pin. Now let's try to create another pin. Let's use a template. This makes it easier to create a pin. These photos are not free, so delete this and let's find free photos on Pixel or Pixabay. Pixels and Pixabay gives you free stock photos that you can use to add to your template without going to their website to download the photos. You can browse and search for free stock photos. Now add more photos and adjust the size to fit the area. You can double click on the photo to adjust the size. Then edit the text here. And group this to customize the other spacing. The middle section occupies more space, so let's give more space to the images by adjusting the background area. Now this will attract people to click on this pin. As you can see, editing and creating stunning pins for your account is easy using this free app. Let's download the second page. The pin's now downloaded in our drive. Now upload the pin on your Pinterest account, add a title, and description. Now add the URL link, click this button, and save it on the relevant board. Now here's the pin that we made. 
Now that you know about using Canva to create pins, you can now proceed to the next topic. Automate your Pinterest using Pinflux. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.